let's talk about tool offsets. Um, if you know how to use position offsets, tool offsets are no different, um, except where regular offsets deal with the position in reference to like the user frame or the world coordinates reference. Um, this is best thought about in reference to the tool frame. And if you remember, you know, the ba if I zoom in on the robot here, the base of the robot, I got just like a simple gripper here, so don't worry. So the base of the robot is, is, is a zero point of your tool frame. And where this on and Robo Guide does a good job of showing where the, the tool center point is or where everything is recorded. Um, because the robot, when it moves, will record where this tool frame is, uh, where this tool center point is in relation to the point that you move it to. This is the, what the robot calculates when it says position. So this needs to be an accurate position based off the faceplate of the robot. So in this case, if I you know click on another EOT, you know you can see it's right on the faceplate. Um, and if I double click on it, you'll see that the U, current U tool is zero 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 all the way across. But if I click on this here, you'll see that this is offset by a. And I can edit this to um, 190 point something. I can just say 192. This is 192 just for sake of math, nice and easy. And once I adjust that, that's where the robot will do all the work. That's the tool center point. Um, other uh, other places will show you uh, how to set that up, but I, for let's just do direct entry. That's what it is. And 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 when we use a tool offset, what we're basically doing. And if you take a look here at the you know. At the at the triad here for the Z, and we'll, Z positive uh, Z the biggest way to adjust this is with the Z's bar none because that's either extending the length of the tool or shrinking the length of the tool or in realistic terms what that means is we we're picking up a longer part that we want to set down in the same area or or picking but we taught everything to a short part or vice versa so and that's what I'm going to show you today is in the best of my ability okay. But you need to keep in mind that Z positive is always going, taking the robot to the part and then to, and Z minus taking it away from the part or taking it away from where you want to do the work. So if, if I'm adding a offset onto here, it's like I'm adding onto the, the, the tooling itself. And so when, when we do a point, it's going to, and we'll demonstrate this in a second, this is actually down further. The robot is going to assume that things are down further, and it's going to be successful when whatever this point in space gets to the point it needs to be called over here. All right? So just like we do regular offsets, and again, this video presupposes that you know how to do off position offsets, so PR offsets, okay? So just keep that in mind. If I go into data, I have a tool. I, I have uh, so let me show you what we got here, and just to show you what happens with, with or without. Oh, I'm underneath. There I go. Let me zoom in. I have two boxes here. Okay, so I have two little boxes, and and one box is 250 by 250 by 250. I have another box is 400. Let's just assume that this is a conveyor belt that picks up two size boxes or two size parts of different of different lengths and, and putting it down on the same table. All right. And just to demonstrate why this is neat and the, the difference, I'm going to go into this tool offset position and just instead of 150. And what this would do is make this tool offset go basically into your robot a little bit more, which will explain. That's why you need to know your representation. And I'm just going to go in. Oh, turn on my teach pendant and uh, make this a zero. Just for for kicks, just make this a zero. All right. And I'm going to go and hit, and here's my job uh, again. Other, you know, so let me just play this job and I'm, and I'll, and I'll, and I'm going to bring down the override so we can see it. So let me hit play. And you can see it's going to go down pick up a box and uh, and move it over to the table. Set it down, no problem. Now watch what happens w with the next box without the tool offset. Boom, I'm into the table. Whoops. Um, let me let me step that through again. I'll put it in step mode. And let's go down to let's go down to here.
let's just go down to here in step mode. Oh, well, let me do it in step, maybe. Step. But watch in a second again. I'm going to try to pause it right when it goes through the table. There, and there it is. Well, here's a longer box. Boom, through the table. And and why? Because this is 150, mil, uh, 150 millimeters taller. So what we need to do, if we want to place it at the same position, because we taught everything for the smaller position, that tool center point is going to a, a point in space that is so, so far above the box. And if we want to trick the robot to basic so we don't have to reteach that position register, well, if we just added on 150 to that, that box, why don't we just say that the tool center point is 150, 150 meter, uh, millimeters taller than what it is? So instead of saying that the tool center point is down here, let's trick the robot to say it's up here. And then when it does that, it's going to still move to the same position, just with a different tool center point. So let me, let's show the difference. Again, uh, let me hit uh, close out, hit stop. Go to edit, uh, select. course I'm stuck on a menu oh, shoot. select got what I called my job I think I called a pallet there it is and how we would set this up is just like we use a PR offset but we just on the back side use a tool offset with a position register instead um, and so now if I go in so here's the position and again I'm using a position register offset I'm using a position offset as well as a you know so you can add on to all this so that you can just record one point and just deviate between the two and just like with with position offsets you can set change the because this is just a position register we're just offsetting the tool frame versus what offsetting the position relative to a user frame so if I go back in and I might hit a position and I'm gonna change this to a negative 150. Hit enter, hit done, and let me hit reset galore. Let me go back to my job and let's run this one more time. So now I, I work through it. There is no tool offset. There's just the position offset, moving the box to different areas. Move it down. And now as I pick this up, you'll notice that it will come down close and, you, and and if you look at the tool paths look at the difference right and you can see this really good in the robo guide where before without the tool offset it was it, the 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 action of the robot was going it was was starting here and then going down now with the tool offset we tricked it and it's starting here and going down to here and then back up because that, that 150 millimeter difference between the our tall backs and the low box now if you recorded everything on the tall box first to then move it to the small box all you gotta do is add 150 to your tool offset that's it so keep this in mind as it's another tool and you can adjust this on the job you can move it to different things but that's all it does is adjust where this is in relation to where it thinks it's doing the work so in here you know because we have the longer box we just we just said okay hey it's longer so don't go down as far, um, and, and so so we actually are pulling that tool away from the part 150. And that's another way of looking at it. We're pulling that tool away from the part 150 degrees versus bringing it to the part 150 degrees. Because when we jog, think of that is when we jog in tool frame, Z positive takes you to the part, Z minus takes you away from the part. And if I put a negative, I'm 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 moving the tool frame, uh, moving the tool further away from the part if i'm in positive i'm putting it closer to the part so if i have a bigger box i want to move the tool away from the part if i have a smaller box i want to move it to the part that's tool frames or in tool offsets i hope this was helpful again if i'm not talking about simulation this is just to, to just demonstrate and you can see the difference hope you have a good day